Uh, where am I on Trump now? What? I love Trump. Interesting. So this clip has been going viral all over the internet, and it's from an interview that Tucker Carlson did on Russell Brand's podcast, I believe back in July, where he's giving his take on Trump. Now, I was personally surprised by that take. I didn't think that Tucker was a big fan of Trump for a long time, but here is the clip in its entirety. Um, personally, I think we're going to see Trump's emergence as as the most significant thing to happen in American politics in 100 years because he reoriented the Republican Party um, against the wishes of Republican leaders. Uh, but when I think about Trump right now, so it's July of 2023, you know, I'm struck by his foreign policy views. You know, Trump is the only person um, with stature in the Republican Party really who's saying, wait a second, you know, why are we supporting an endless war in Ukraine? And that, you know, leaving aside whether Trump's going to get the nomination or get elected president or would be a good president, you know, I can't even assess that. All I can say at this point is I'm so grateful that he has that position. He's right. And everyone in Washington's wrong. Everyone. Mm -hmm. And Trump is right on that question. And it's a big question. That war is reshaping the world. It's reshaping the economy of the world. It's reshaping populations. The ref I mean, I was just in Romania last week, you know, which is, of course, shares a border with Ukraine. The, the refugees in that region, the number of people killed in that war. I mean, Europe will never be the same because of this war. And it really matters. And Trump alone among popular figures in both parties understands that. And I'm grateful for it. Whether he gets the nomination or gets elected, it, you know, words really matter. Saying something true out loud matters. And he is saying true things about Ukraine. And I think I know why that is now making the rounds and now going viral, even though that happened back in July. And I've always said this about Trump. Criticisms of his are fair, believe me. Even amongst Republicans, I've heard a lot of criticisms of him. How he handled the beginning of the pandemic, how he did this, the First Step Act. There's a ton of valid criticisms to have with the man, and I get it. At the same time, one of my favorite things about Trump has and always will be foreign policy. You cannot deny that. And I think it goes back to his days doing business and being a business owner, negotiating the art of the deal, being able to meet sometimes with awful people, uh, whether it's in North Korea or anywhere else, you have to be able to work with these leaders, whether we agree with them or not, and make deals, negotiate things, have a middle ground. Another thing about Trump, to people from the outside, and I, this is one thing that Americans don't like about him, but what I actually think helped him on the national or international stage was the fact that he was kind of an, a little unpredictable. He wasn't like the same old, same old, and you kind of didn't know what move he was going to make. And I think that made him a lot more well-respected on the international stage with the leaders. He also had an air of being a tough leader. We don't have that at the moment. And it's funny because that's one of the things that especially liberals didn't like about him. But in my opinion, that's also one of the things that makes him such a great leader as far as the rest of the world uh, is concerned. And he had, what, historic peace in the Middle East when he was president. The only president and not to start a war, yet we're told he was the most unhinged with his finger on the button. All the world is going to go to crap. Well, look at us now pretty crazy and i've said this before i'll say it again and it was a hard truth that i realized in 2020 when joe biden was elected and that truth is this unfortunately i almost think that biden did have to win the election i think that democrats needed to hold the presidency again for people to realize how good it was under trump whether it's foreign policy 
inflation, gas prices, anything else that's happening in our country right now, a lot of people are realizing, okay, the media told me everything was going to go back to normal. It was going to be calm. The, the right people are in charge again, yet that is not at all what is happening at the moment. So it's interesting that that clip is going viral right now. Viral right now, I apologize. And I really like that Tucker Carlson brought that up. It's something that's not brought up, I don't feel, enough uh, with Trump. Maybe now, just given the condition of our world. But his foreign policy, man, it was pretty, it was bar none. It was pretty good. And that's one of the reasons why I've told people too, he, as far as right now, I always wait, I listen to everyone's platform, but that's one of the reasons he sort of had my vote solidified was because of his foreign policy and how he dealt with things. Anyway, I thought you would enjoy that video and I'll see you again later. Bye.